people want their subjective preferences to be the objective reality. You can't handle the truth! Welcome back to Keep It Real Boxing. You're listening to Cypher Box. Okay, so news broke late yesterday that we're going to get Mikey Garcia versus Danny Garcia in August. Now, yesterday I uploaded this week's episode of my uh, weekly podcast called Bout the Ropes. And the main theme of that podcast was the welterweights. And I spoke about, I touched on Danny Garcia and obviously on Terence Crawford. I heard little rumblings, little rumors that maybe Terence Crawford and Danny Garcia were going to fight each other next. But it turns out that it may, it looks like it's going to be Danny Garcia versus Mikey Garcia instead. And it looks like Al Heyman is going to keep everything in-house at the moment when it comes to the welterweight division. This is going to be even more frustrating for Terence Crawford because really the only option he has right now is, in terms of a viable opponent, a quality opponent, is Kel Brook, who ha- has stated that he's interested in fighting Terence Crawford. However... However, when you look at the rankings, Kel Brook is highly ranked in all four boxing commissions, yeah, at 154 pounds. So whether he's really serious about coming down to 147, we've heard Eddie Hearn on top of that turn around and say that he struggles to make 147, we'll have to talk about it. I don't know how much truth there is to that. Not only that, you know, we've seen Team Crawford's team have turned around and said, basically Crawford's team have turned around and said that if he wants that fight, great, we'll fight Kel Brook, but he's coming to America, we're the champions, we're not going to the UK. So I don't know if Kel Brook's going to go for that, and I don't don't know if Eddie Hearn's going to go for that. I'm wondering, does Terence Crawford make more money if he comes to the UK? Potentially, but we'll have to watch this space. But it definitely looks like, to me, like Al Heyman and PBC are trying to freeze Terence Crawford, Top Rank and ESPN out of the welterweight division right now. And when you think about it, all the top level, elite level welterweights are over on PBC. Now, Mikey's not a top level, elite level welterweight. He's had one fight against Mikey Garcia. I'm pretty surprised he's taken this fight against Danny because end of the day, you'd think, you know, he'd probably want to take, you know, maybe a few gatekeeper type fighters or, you know, low level contenders at welterweight, you know, kind of feel his way back in, into the division if he's going to if he's planning on staying at 147 pound I'd imagine that's where it's going to be Danny being the bigger naturally bigger fighter out of the two when it comes to that and we've seen what happens what's happening in that situation yeah all right the Royal Spence Jr. has got a lot more to his arsenal than Danny Garcia probably has but you know I don't know whether this is necessarily a smart move on Mikey Garcia's part you know he could risk losing a second fight in the row here with Danny. Like I said, Danny is more established and used to the welterweight weight than Mikey is. So um, it's a good fight, though. I'm not complaining. I'm not complaining. Uh, unfortunately for the US fans, however, this is going to be on Fox pay-per-view, which I think may be around about $75. Now, usually at this point, I like to poke a little fun, have a little bit of banter with the American fans out there. And kind of, you know, poke, the, poke fun at them that they got to pay ridiculous prices for their pay-per-view. But unfortunately, here in the UK, we're not much better off. Because over the next couple of months, we're going to get fleeced proper and have our pants pulled down when it comes to UK pay-per-views. We paid $20, sorry, £20 last the other week for uh, Terence Crawford versus Amir Khan. We've got Joshua coming up against Andy Ruiz. That's going to be 20 quid roughly. We've got um, White versus Rivas coming up soon. That's another 20 quid. And then we've got Tyson Fury versus Schwartz, if you want to pay for that fight, another 20 quid. So over a couple of the months here in the UK, we're paying a total. If, you, if you're going to buy all those pay-per-views, you're looking at £80 over, you know, for fights that aren't really worthy of pay-per-view, in my opinion. Pay-per-view, in my opinion, in, from what I remember when I was a kid, it was when it was something, you know, uh, something great, you know, a historical event, you know, in the sport of boxing. And those fights don't really don't really do it for me in that sense yeah i don't think they're pay-per-view worthy like if you had aj versus wilder aj versus fury or fury versus wilder or whatever you know those sort of or even even aj versus ortiz you know yeah i'd pay 20 quid for that, that, that i don't mind giving up 20 quid for that but mm, i don't know about these other ones especially tyson fury on bt you know he's fighting shorts half us don't even know who the guy is let's be honest you know so yeah, and then White at versus Rebaths is probably the best fight out of those three, and we're still getting charged twenty quid. And then, like I said, we just paid for Amir Khan versus Terence Crawford the other week. So, 20, you know, eighty quid in the space of a couple of months, 
we're getting our pants, you know, pulled down prop right and proper here in uh, in the UK as well. So I can't really poke fun at the US fans that they got paid seventy five dollars for potentially for Mikey Garcia versus Danny Garcia. Look, I think Danny versus Mikey is a good fight. Let me know what you think. What do you think about this move from Al Heyman and PBC as well? It definitely seems like to me that they're trying to freeze Terence Crawford out at this moment in time. They're doing their own little mini welterweight tournament over there on PBC. And the guy who ends up, uh, ends up the unified champion will then fight Terence Crawford. And when they do go forward to, nego to the negotiation tables with Terence Crawford, they're going to say, I'm worth 60%, I'm worth 70%, I'm the A side, you're the B side. That's what it looks like to me. Let me know what you think, of course. Uh, as always, guys, like, share and subscribe. Until next time, this is Cypherbox reminding you to keep it real.